What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Uh, Matt Coleman, one of the Bruins writers, tweeted something last night about uh, Tory Krug being on the Team USA radar. And I originally read it, I was like, okay, you know, it's kind of a, that's cute. But um, you know, I look at the stats. He's right now six in scoring among American defensemen. He's a plus player, which you know you can't say for Keith Yandel or Wisniewski or uh, Dustin Bufflin, a couple guys in front of him. You know, he's leading American defenseman in goal scoring. Uh, he's got six, and uh, next was guys like Ryan McDonough with four. This might be a career high for McDonough, where you know month into the season, and you look at what Krug does in terms of skating ability, and uh, you know just the riverboat gambler mentality he has on the ice. That that could suit very well for Team USA on the Sochi ice. So you know, while he might be a long shot, I think he's definitely earned a, earned a look. Um, with this play both this season and last year in the, in the playoffs uh, for the Bruins. And, uh, you know, going a step further, he's never played for Team USA at a major tournament, I don't think. I mean, he was undrafted free agent out of Michigan State, undersized guy, you know, really had to, you know, scrap and claw his way to get to where he is. But you look at what he's done um, in professional hockey since he signed with the Bruins uh, a year and a half ago, he's been phenomenal. And you look at what he brings to the table that other guys may not bring, um, you know, he's six in the NHL in power play goals. You know, that's all players. I mean, you know, the guys on the Team USA, you know, projected roster, you know, guys that can play on the power play and are phenomenal on the power play, especially in Yandel's case, uh, Suter as well. But, you know, I don't think any of them have the, the mentality of, um, you know, just going out there and playing. You know, they're, they're used to playing system, systematic hockey, which is obviously a great way to succeed. But, you know, I like that Claude Julien has allowed Krug to um, to play his game. Maybe not within the parameters of – within the parameters of Claude's system, I might add. But he has more of a hall pass, so to, so to speak. I think of a better word, green light is another one, maybe more appropriate, um, to do the things he wants to do with the puck. And I think that's a great coaching decision by Claude. And uh, I can see Danny Bylsma giving him the same benefit of the doubt. I mean, God, he has a little tang. Um, I'm not. I'm not saying he's better than Latang by any means. I mean, but I think he can definitely help Team USA's power play if they uh, if they so bring him, so choose to bring him associate. I mean, look at his numbers last year in the AHL were great, um, and his career numbers in the NHL, albeit in 18 games, uh, 11 points, is, is pretty good. And uh, hopefully, like I said, uh, Team USA takes note of it. Cause as a Bruins fan and a Team USA fan, I want to see the best for um, for both of them and uh, Tori Krug. Getting ice time in Sochi would um, would definitely be uh, just that, in my opinion, because like I said, he's one of my favorite players. He's an electrifying guy to watch. I actually remember Bill Simmons tweeting something in the playoffs um, about his father being he's the most out of the blue Bruin that his father was excited about since Craig Janey. So that's something um, you yeah, know I've had in the back of my mind, you know, ever since that tweet. But anyway, that's our episode of the Power Play with CJ on the Matt Kalman uh, comment about Tory Krug's place in the. Uh, for the USA uh, Olympic hockey team. Stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.